Hello everyone. Welcome to UA Pass Tutorials. In this session, we are going to learn about copy paste range activity. By using copy paste range activity, we can copy the data from one sheet to another sheet based on the range which we have selected. That means we can copy the data from the one sheet and we can paste the data to another sheet of the same Excel based on the range which we have selected. Now I will show you an example. This is my Excel sheet which I am having students information. Now if you can see this entire data I am having the sheet one. Now I want to copy this and move the data and paste the data in the sheet four. How can I go ahead and do that? I can go ahead and do that based around the you know by using copy paste range. Now here you may get a doubt over here. By using read range activity as well as write range activity, we can go ahead and do the same kind of functionality which we are going to do by using copy paste range activity. But what is the difference? Let me open my UiPath Studio. Now if you see I'm having read range and write range activity. So if you see over here, by using read range activity, I'm going to, uh, you know, from the range of entire range of the sheet one, I'm going to copy the data and I'm going to store in the output table that is the output data table. And then I'm going to write by using write range activity. I'm going to write the data in the sheet five based on the what out the output that we have stored in the output data table. We are using the same kind of functionality like copy paste range activity. Now, what is the difference for the both things? Copy paste activity copies an entire range or specific range which you have been selected including that includes the values formulas table formats and cell format and paste it all these things to the specified sheet i'm going to repeat again if you see read range activity and write range activity copies the data only copies the data and write the data in the another sheet but whereas copy paste range activity will copy the entire data based on the range which you have been given along with the values which includes the values formulas table format and cell format and paste it to the another cell now if you see i'm having the sum of the marks over here in the sheet one right if i'm going to copy this copy this and pasting to the another sheet by using copy paste activity it includes the formulas over there and paste it in the sheet four. That is the what is the difference over here for the read range activity, write range activity for copy paste range activity. Now let me show you once again. Okay, let me run this bot where I'm going to use read range and write range activity at a time. Okay, if you observe over here, I'm giving in the right range, I'm giving sheet five. So what it will do, it will create a new sheet with the name of sheet five, and then it will go ahead and it will write the data. If you observe my Excel, I don't have any sheet five with the name of sheet five. Let me go ahead, let me run the bot. Now if you see, sheet five has been created and then it has given the entire data. But if you observe, it is giving only the data, but you don't find any formulas over here which you have in the sheet one. In the sheet one that you have the formulas over here now how can we go ahead and get it this kind of table formats formulas cell formats and all these things we can go ahead and we can use copy paste range activity now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a new sequence to work on uh, copy paste range activity i'm going to give it the sheet name uh, sequence name as copy paste range activity let me create and now i'm going to activities excel i'm drawing and dropping excel application scope and then i'm going to select student marks one and over here i'm going to search for in the activities copy paste range activity let me drag and drop onto my panel okay first of all we'll see the what are the properties that we have for the copy paste range activity now the first thing is that input you can see the input the sheet name 
which sheet you have to copy and the source range from which range to which range nothing but this is the range that we are going to give it here if you give double quotes with the null it won't accept you have to give from starting cell to end of the cell okay here is the source range that you will give it and the destination cell so if you see let us assume if i want to go ahead and sheet for the destination cell i have to give where it has to start the starting cell you have to give it up in the destination cell and the destination sheet it's nothing but the sheet name you have to provide it options use or formulas or number format or cell format which one you want to copy paste you don't want to copy all the formats if you want to select this particular format then you can go ahead and you can select the option of the values you can see the values that you can go ahead and select it formulas number format cell or all the values all kind of thing that you want to go ahead and do that you can go ahead you can copy the items now what i'm going to do i'm going to select all okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to give the source range i will give source range from the sheet one you can see from a1 to o11 a1 to o11 i'm going to give it okay the source range is a1 to o11 is the source range and the destination cell over here i'm going to start from e1 or i will say d5 i want to start from the d5 cell okay and then the destination set this is very very important let us assume if you see in the read range activity on right range right range activity if the sheet is not available then it is going to create a new sheet but whereas copy paste range activity you have to give only which are available in the uh, in the particular excel if you see on my screen that i'm having sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 4 sheet 5 i don't have sheet 3 so if i go ahead and give sheet 3 over here what will happen it will throws an error i'm going to repeat again what are the sheets that we are having in the excel only you have to give that sheets only sheet name only if the sheets are not available it won't create the sheets in the destination sheet and it will throws an error i will show you that okay getting an error also is very very important how to resolve it right we want to know the advantages and disadvantages of each and every activity okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to run this copy paste range activity now let me save this and let me run the bot now if you see over here we got an error saying that copy paste range the sheet does not exist that the mean you have to give only the sheets which are available in the excel okay now let me okay now if you see i am having sheet 4 i am having as empty let me go ahead i will give the sheet name as destination sheet as sheet 4 okay now if you see the copy items i'm going to give it all the things like you know values number format cell format formulas all things that i'm going to give it now let me run the bot once again now if you see in the sheet 4 it has been copied the entire data along with that you can see the formulas also over here the formulas the values and you can see the dates and all these things date formats and all these things has been copied from one range to another range and it has been pasted in specified sheet the main disadvantage of the copy paste range activity is that if you don't have the sheet it won't go ahead at it won't create a new sheet with the what are the destination sheet you have given it will it throws an error over there and whereas if you see the read range activity by using read range activity and write range activity you can't copy the values formulas table formats and cell formats in the read range activity along with the write range activity i hope you understand how to use read range and write range activity and also you understand how to utilize copy paste range activity in this session 
Thank you for watching UiPath tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.